Antarctica breakthrough as NASA makes a bizarre discovery in the clouds above the Southern Ocean. It has something to do with our climate. Super cool droplets of water inside clouds over the Southern Ocean freeze when they encounter ice particles and shatter into ice shards, and in this way, dimming the clouds and allowing more sunlight to reach the ocean surface. This is what a new study has found. The findings could have implications for how we simulate the Earth's climate. The paper author, atmospheric scientist, was Rochelle Atlas of the University of Washington, and she explained Southern Ocean low clouds should not be treated as liquid clouds. Ice formation in Southern Ocean low clouds has a substantial effect on the cloud properties and needs to be accounted for in global model, models, she says. In their study, Atlas and her colleagues explored the impact of factoring in this ice splintering process on high resolution climate models. They used data collected from NASA's clouds and the Earth's radiating energy system, CERES for short. These satellites and the Japan Meteorological Agency Himawari 8 weather satellite. This was supplemented by data collected in 2018 in a field campaign that flew a craft through Southern Ocean clouds and took measurements. The team found, including the details of ice formation in their models, versus not equated to a difference of one of the 10 watts of incoming solar energy per square meter between 45 to 65 degrees south in the summer, enough to significantly shift the resulting surface temperatures. Ice formation substantially reduces cloud reflectance because the ice particles are able to form, grow, and then fall out of their host clouds very efficiently. Atlas explains the ice crystals deplete much of the thinner cloud entirely, before redu therefore reducing the horizontal coverage. Ice crystals also deplete some of the liquid in the thick cores of the cloud. So the ice particles both reduce the cloud cover and dim the remaining cloud. In the month of February, at the end of the Southern Hemisphere summer, clouds typically cover around 90% of the sky above the Southern Ocean, and around a quarter of these clouds are affected by the type of ice formation in question, the researcher said. Properly understanding the impact of clouds is becoming increasingly important, Ms. Atlas and her colleagues said. The latest climate models, they explain, use smaller grid spacing to factor in the effect of clouds and storms on incoming solar radiation. Ms. Atlas said the Southern Ocean is a massive global heat sink. But its ability to take heat from the atmosphere depends on the temperature structure of the upper ocean. This, in turn, she says, relates to the cloud cover. The full findings of the study were published in the journal AGU Advances. And this is from Express UK by Ian Randall. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.